If you buy a new iPhone in the US, you'll be asked to choose what Siri's voice should sound like. That's a change. Apple used to preset Siri's voice to sound feminine. And she's not the only feminized virtual assistant. Hello, I'm your Google Assistant. I'm Alexa. I'm Erica. I'm Bixby. The earliest voice assistant was recorded by a woman who helped guide pilots in World War II, and generations of women followed. Roll right, roll right. Stabilizer motion, stabilizer motion. Hollywood's always liked casting inanimate assistants as women. Rosie! Here I am, sir. Hello, I'm here. Hi. Hi. How you doing? Virtual female assistants are sometimes sexualized, like their human counterparts. If you tried calling the earliest version of Siri a bitch, you heard this. I'd blush if I could. People seem to feel more comfortable imposing on women and uh, getting help from women. And uh, it occurred to me that it's kind of parallel to the way many people feel about their mothers as compared to their fathers. Often, this kind of tiptoe around father, he might be busy, he might be in a bad mood. This is obviously not always true. I don't want to generalize about all, but an assumption that mother is the one who should be there when you need her. So some customers prefer female voices, and some tech companies say that's why they choose them. But their choice, made by an industry that's overwhelmingly male, has a real effect on women. It is, is a problem. You know, every time I want to set the kitchen timer, every time I want to change the music, every time I want the doors to lock or something, I'm sort of barking at a machine that's projecting a woman's personality and has a woman's voice and doesn't ever require, you know, any level of politeness or anything. There's a lot of evidence to suggest that that gets translated into the real world. It creates an association between facility, subservience, and women, and that's a problem. It's also why we think that there are so few women and girls who go into technology fields and professions. Feminine voice assistants did come up in a survey from 2018 looking into gender and the tech industry. They called people and they said, can you name a woman leader in technology? Most people said, nope, sorry, I can't. But do you know what people said the most? Alexa or Siri? That really brought this full circle to me. There are people out there who are perceiving that a technology built by companies run by men, where the staff are overwhelmingly male, where on the technology teams, they're even more overwhelmingly male. Female voice are being perceived as women leaders in technology. It's fascinating to think about what the effect is of uh, all these electronic voices being women's voices. Um, I can think of two possible and, and potentially opposite effects. One might be, oh, gee, women are able to do everything. They're all over. We're going to have more respect for women in public positions. And the other might be, it's going to reinforce this impression that women are all there to just help you out with whatever you need. <laughs> Oh no, I seem to be trapped in a paradox. 